is brought to you by Sporting Bet. There's no better bet than a Sporting Bet. This is the FA Cup Highlight Show, and as the final inch is ever closer, we'll be bringing you all the best action from another fantastic day of cup football. Coming up, Crawley seek the ultimate FA Cup shock at Manchester United. Stoke City host a dangerous Brighton side, led by Gus Poyet. Birmingham City welcome League One struggler Sheffield Wednesday. And there's a fourth round replay, Chelsea and Everton meet again. There was delirium for Crawley supporters as the mighty Manchester United were pulled from the hat, a deserved reward for their fantastic run. Seeing how the sole non-league representatives fare are both Stuart Robson and first Gary Taphouse. There's a long-range try and not a bad effort from Smith. Brilliant effort from Smith. When they do get the ball forward, they're three flyers behind the main striker, Gibson, Smith and McAllister supporting quickly. Smith in that little hole there. That's exactly what he's trying to do. And the guard was certainly off his line. He just gets it on his shin in the end. But it's important that he does give close support. Anderson. Michael Carrick. Gibson. Oh, lovely ball for Hernandez. He wanted too long, McFadzine with a vital interception to get it away. Well, Gibson has just shown what he's all about there, picking the ball up with a bit of space, and he bends this ball beautifully. Um, McFadzine could have taken it on his left foot and got a shot away, trying to cut back across the defender. Short from Darren Gibson this time. Better angle for the cross, isn't it? And into the net by Wes Brown. Manchester United have the breakthrough. West Brown's first ever goal in the FA Cup. And what a cross it was from Gibson, whipping it in with pace. Brown was still up from the corner. What a delivery, hit with pace into the right area. You see Pablo Mills starts to go to the back post with him, then can't get back across. He'll be pleased for Alex Ferguson just when things were beginning to get a bit edgy. Can't get the ball at the moment, Crawley. And here's a lovely run, and why? Well, he knows that's a real chance, Fabio De Silva. What another pass from Gibson. Inch perfect, great weight as he picks the ball up here. What a pass this was for Fabio, running in behind. But Fadzin, he tries to toe-poke it in. Over top, on the far side, he's got the ball. Face by Hunt into the box, beaten away by Kuypers. Here's that shot from Overtat. Oh, a bit of a meal of that one. Lovely ball from Rooney. There's the cross, which is dealt with by McFadden. Rooney. Well, he tries to bend this back across the goalkeeper into the far post. Skips past the first challenge. Watch here when the ball comes out. He's past Torres very easy. Just drops his shoulder, changes direction and pace. He won't get his shot back down again. I think Manchester United has stopped defending the midfield. It's too easy for Crawley Town players just to get on, on the ball in good possession behind Manchester United's midfield. Mills looking for Smith. Now Brody can get the cross in here. Oh, and there's the volley, and it's Hunt. The fullback. With a good cross into the box, good pace for him to start with. Great cut back. See Bebe had gone to sleep again. Hunt run beyond him. This is a good chance. Probably gets it on his shin rather than his boot. Torres. Cook. He took time out from football recently to try and become a golfer. 
Back in the game now and playing at Old Trafford. Cook's cross. Oh, they were queuing up at the back post. Smith's in there and volleyed over. And the Crawley Town fans hold their heads as Tubbs, their hero and top scorer, couldn't find the target. Well, it was great play from Cook down this right-hand side. Really good trickery to go past O'Shea, lifting it to the far post. Not the best header at the far post from Fletcher. This morning didn't win the next one. What a chance that was. Good a shirt tugging going on from both players. Smith winning the first header. Probably should have been a corner. Where's Brown got a header on that? A touch of the Rooney's about that attempt, wasn't there? Seven days ago. Well, how about this? Crawley's first corner in the 92nd minute. Unintentional flick on and Brody! Oh, can you believe that? Well, it hit the bar, didn't it? He was in the air a long time, he couldn't get great power behind it. He tries to head it back across the goalkeeper, hits the bar. He always felt they were going to get one more chance. He was totally unmarked, it was flicked on. On the near post by a United player. Hernandez. Javi Hernandez again. Wayne Rooney. Close. Better for Match United. Great switch of play. Still like to see Fletcher drive forward with the ball in the end. He plays it back to Hernandez. Good touch from Rooney. Just can't get the power in it. And the layoff this time by Tubbs. And this is Cook. Near side is Hunt. You can sense the tension around Old Trafford. And Brody again was in there with McFadzine, who'd made the extra man. McFadzine, great opportunity. Ball whipped into the danger area. It's Hunt. Good header for a good position that he was in. This is it. The last chance to get the ball forward. I'd be getting on with it if I was Kuypers here. Four-minute signal, we played over four and a half. Oh, well, they didn't take it in the end, which is crazy. Steve Evans side bowing out of the FA Cup with their heads held high. Just the one goal in it. Scored by Wes Brown in the first half. The two Scottish managers embrace Manchester United through to the quarter-finals of the FA Cup. Richard Brody so close to a stoppage time equaliser, his header off the bar. But Crawley have done themselves proud here today. Wes Brown, the match winner, to put the Red Devils of Manchester into the last eight. Full time at Old Trafford, Manchester United 1, Crawley Town 0. Stoke City's story for so many years has been one of reflection upon yesteryear. A capable Brighton and Hove Albion stood in the way as the Potters seek their first FA Cup triumph. Commentary from Gary O'Reilly and first Dan O'Hagan. Long de lap throw in, goalkeeper Bresman hasn't got there, and the ball creeps in, and that long throw already is Bresman and Brighton's undoing. Goalkeeper doesn't get bulked, just flaps at it, totally mistimes it. Nobody on either post. Now Pennant. Overlapping his mark, Wilson. Wilson's cross, good cross too, second stoke goal. John Waters this time doubles the home team's money. You can see it here, checks back, comes across, gets in there, straight through Brezovan's hands. Let's just be nice and say he's not having the best day at the office so far. Nice chorus of Delilah from the uh, home fans, the, uh, the Stoke anthem here at the uh, Britannia. Waters, and they sing it with gusto. They do. And the place when it's full really does rock. Here's Etherington. It's a great ball in for Pennant. Greer's head, here comes Brezovan. Again, the punch is nervy. Here's Waters again, back in there for Stoke, off the line from Gordon Greer. Brezovan's first half horribilis. It was on and off. Uh, not confident. 
Now if I'm a Brighton defender, I'm playing with my head turned round over my shoulder. That's a fan. Tainter, Pulis, the Stoke manager down there, still giving the instructions. It's Ashley Barnes here for Brighton. Barnes does well, now it's uh, Murray. Glenn Murray. Barnes over the bar, that's Brighton's first chance. Good one as well, that, for the young striker. Yeah, a little bit more pace about the move. Builds up, you're wondering from that angle, and there wasn't a great deal of pace on the ball when it comes back across for Barnes. And he's trying to shape that pass, Sorensen. Short throw from the lap, which is unusual. It comes to Etherington, there's the cross again. Towards Pennant this time, sent back in, they're queuing up here for Stoke. They claim a handball, I think, as well in there, the Stoke players. Walter's got the final connection. Prezavan's run across to the near post following this ball here. Look, see him scampering across, then he's getting across again. He's all over the show. It's Pennant's cross, flicked on, another set piece, another goal. It's Ryan Shaw cross this time, Stoke are rampant, and the three goals clear in round five. I mean, he's still got to finish it, but it's a free header. And again, there's no one on the posts. And the set play, the undoing of the Albion. His first goal since round five last year in a replay against Manchester City. Bennett, final ball again. Bennett still, now Barnes, Bennett goes down. Brighton appeal, Hard Webb says, oh no you don't. So, does he try too hard to get a penalty or does he try too hard to get the ball? Wouldn't give that as a penalty. <laughs> With a great ball here to Christian Baz. It's Baz! It's a save for Sorensen. The young Argentine makes Sorensen work. Yeah, it's on target and he works a goalkeeper. I mean, apart from sticking in the back of the net, it's as good as it'll get. Takes a little deflection. Bennett, Baz, Bennett, in through the block. Picked up by Gary Dicker. Now Jake Kasky, Kasky goes for goal. It's held by Sorensen, but once again there, the player who's only 16, catching the eye. Lack for confidence, does he? Seconds of the uh, tie. Here's the lap for Stoke. He's got Ricardo Fuller, Kenwin Jones as well. Here's Fuller. Fuller with Greer. It's Ricardo Fuller. Twists and turns. Side netting. You knew once he starts to face up a defender that the defender's got all of the problems. This program is brought to you by Sporting Bet. There's no better bet than a Sporting Bet. Live Serie A, this weekend on Satanta Sports. Live Serie A, this weekend on Satanta Sports. This program is brought to you by Sporting Bet. There's no better bet than a Sporting Bet. Now languishing in League One, Sheffield Wednesday, finalists in 1993, have history in this competition. But opponents Birmingham are two divisions higher and start as firm favourites. Commentary from Malcolm Christie and first, Richard Kaufman. This is Cameron Giroux. Now Flip, this is a real chance for him maybe to pose some problems for Sheffield Wednesday. Bowie is calling for it and gets it. Jerome Martins in the middle, so is Beausejour. Simple, simple goal. First goal for Birmingham City for Jean Beausejour. And they don't come much easier than that. Well, we mentioned about Haleb possibly providing that threat along the left-hand side. He did cut, cut inside, played a great ball to Boya, who in turn found a lovely little reverse pass to Beausejour. And you don't really miss from there. It was a great finish. You know, left the keeper with not, not a great deal of, of chance there. There's over 4,000 Sheffield Wednesday fans in this crowd. As you can see, 
not sold out, but Sheffield Wednesday's allocation was. In fact, they asked for 3,000 more tickets, but Birmingham refused them. Morrison, lovely back heel. Miller! What an opportunity for an equaliser. Credit Doyle. I think he got a decisive touch it to deny a goal. It was lovely play, great back heel from Morrison. And it was a timely, timely challenge from Roger Johnson, I think it was, just in the nick of time. Birmingham City have a chance to maybe double their advantage. Keith Fay over this free kick for them. Scored recently for Ireland. Fahey punched away, Murphy's headed back. Both of yours in there. Sheffield Wednesday escape. Nicky Weaver, we see here from the curling free kick. Possibly could have tipped it over the bar. He's actually punched it into a into a danger area there. But by the look of it there, I mean the referee and linesman have both missed what looked like a clear handball there. The arms clearly gone up in the air. Martins perseverance. Lovely overlapping from Murphy. Another goal's not far away, and it almost comes from Jerome. Both is short. Again, the threat from the left-hand side. Fantastic whip ball in there from Dave Murphy. Did it come off a hand there? I don't know. Jerome just didn't get on the end of it. And it's a great save from Nicky Weaver, just knocking the ball past, past the post. Didn't quite connect with it, Beausajour. Would have liked to have struck it better than that. Kleb. Martins gets there over Femi Martins. 2-0. That's the first time Birmingham City fans have seen that celebration. And they now have one foot inside the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Well, we spoke about the threat of Martins and Jerome, what threat they might pose to this Sheffield Wednesday team. Great little run inside there. He's done the defender through his legs, little nutmeg. I didn't think there was any other finish on the cards there. Always, always going to be a goal from that situation. Martins is, is, is a quality player, magnificent, couple of touches, slots, slots it straight past the keeper. Well, the goal was superbly taken, the acrobats was uh, oh, a little bit more sparkly, wasn't it? Deflected off Fahey's hand, I think, but... Uh, Apart from a few appeals from Sheffield Wednesday fans, that was it, and the break is on. It's David Bentley for three. Well, that would have probably killed the game right at the end of this first half, but Bentley spurns the opportunity. They break so well, don't they, Birmingham City, when they get in them opportunity. Lovely little step over there from David Bentley. You expected to see the net ripple, but he's just dragged it wide. Weaver hasn't got it, and it's turned in. David Murphy. Well, Nicky Weaver looks on, and surely that's the end of any hope that Sheffield Wednesday had. Well, all eyes on the referee, isn't it? Sheffield Wednesday players stood about. They thought, as Nicky Weaver did, that he thought he'd been fouled. We see the corner come in now. Was it knocked out of his hands? I mean, Bowyer's... Really, when, when you, in most situations like that, the goalkeeper is protected. Good finish there from, from Dave Murphy. He's not stopped, he's got in there. But for me, that's a foul. Here's Bentley. Could be more trouble here for Sheffield Wednesday. Still has it, Bentley. How has Martins missed that? <laughs> they can smart about it at 3 now, of course. Well, I'd be bitterly disappointed he's not... Scored his second of the game here. David Bentley does great. Turns the defender inside out. Suspicion of a handball from him. But he's just not been able to sort his feet out in time. It's difficult when the ball comes to you like that and you've got to try and, you know, sort them out. But really, a player of his calibre and quality. And we can see David Bentley. I think he obviously knows where the ball should have gone. Jones. He'll cut inside on his left here. Left by uh, Beavers. Till three minutes are up. It nearly came. They were desperately close. 
but that is the final chance of the game. And it fell to Clinton Morrison. Chelsea beat Everton to win the 2009 FA Cup final and they're unbeaten in the competition since. The Blues survived at Goodison when Lewis Sahar's opener was cancelled out by Salomon Kalou to set up this fourth round replay. Commentary from Matt Jackson and first Guy Mowbray. And it's a chance for Chelsea. Frank Lampard to fire the ball in. If Drogba can get on the end of this, he'll feel a whole lot better. Over it comes from Lampard and it's headed back towards goal and there is a chance for John Terry sliding in but he couldn't keep the ball down. Very close, I think, to an Everton own goal, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Just a floated ball, really, and it's actually Jackie Elker, I think, isn't it? It just comes off on this skiddy surface and John Terry will always put his body on the line. Check. Able to take his time. Plenty of it. Drogba. New spring in his step, Maluda gets through, but runs straight into Howard. Chelsea are starting to find their form now, and Didier Drogba, well, welcome back to the game. Yeah, great, great to see it, because he's an outstanding player, he's got all this ability, just play the game, strength, impossible to mark, great touch on the ball, a perfectly weighted pass. Here's Kalou trying to move into it with the help of Ramirez. Ramirez is in, Howard out to meet him. What does the referee do here? He gives a free kick to Everton and he's going to book Ramirez for trying to influence a decision. Tim Howard gives him the thumbs up. Well, he's lucky, I think, Howard, because he's not there as the ball arrives. If it's a 50-50, you give the, maybe give the benefit of the doubt, but I just think he gets a really good touch on the ball. I mean, that's a penalty. Oh, that is a penalty. Paulo Ferreira. Ramirez. This is Kalou. This is Ramirez. Lampard. How did Howard keep that out? Or more pertinently, how on earth didn't Lampard score? Well, actually, they both do everything right. It's good play. The best we've seen from Chelsea. Intricate play in the box. Good ball in, and it's just fizzing. Lampard gets his shot on target, gets his feet sorted out. And it just happens to hit the one place where Howard's got his foot rooted. Good save. Can't do much else, Lampard. Maluda corner, that's Ivanovic, and Howard's there again. And he's helped out by his defence, getting it further away. Looks like he should score, he's in plenty of space. Certainly more space than he should have at the far post. Baines. We're getting towards next goal win stage. Baines to Billy Letkinoff, who let it run, and he should be not quite expecting that. There's a Chelsea break with Lampard. Sen. Norman back at him to win the ball. Chelsea plough on with Lampard, through to Maluda. Maluda to touch back to Lampard. And he went for the chip, and it was panic stations for Everton, but it was always going over the top. Just trying to walk it in, can't do it can't do it this one you think he's going to play in front of him onside just about stays onside good first touch but surprise at Frank there he's a he's a laces man he's a smash it merchant doesn't need to be trying to chip it there go for power I understand that when the board goes up it will say at least three minutes to be added on before the prospect of extra time there might still be a chance or two at either end Leighton Baines can he hit it right footed? He can! Check saves, it's Fellini! Has it been ruled out? Fellini's celebrations cut short, offside. He hasn't scored the winner. Well, I was going to be very surprised with Leighton Baines with his right foot. Not something we normally see. It's a great strike. It must be tight. Well, it is ever so tight. Cole, Anelka, Essien, works it out to Paolo Ferreira, now a bit of Chelsea noise, up goes Distan, uh, Baines thought he was following it, Distan stayed back, Anelka, he's wriggled between the pair of them, over the head of Jagielka, this is Lampard, and it's 1-0 Chelsea! Frank Lampard gets his goal!
Is that the one that takes Chelsea through to the last 16 of the FA Cup? Nelka does really well. Once again, a mix up on that left hand side. This time's been great. Does really well. This is a good ball in. Drogba trying to take that one for himself, but well, Frankie just gets himself in the box repeatedly. Gets this one right. Tim Howard, no chance whatsoever. Now Everton are going to have to go out and attack. It's going to open this game right up. Chelsea sitting back, just inviting Everton to have one last go at them, maybe. Neville. It's Jaggy Elka, emergency centre forward, and he was caught, and it's a free kick and a chance to strike at goal. Now that all not yet lost for Everton. Who's got it left in the tired legs for Everton? Mikel Arteta or Leighton Baines? It's Baines' strike, and Czech's beaten! Everton have levelled! Leighton Baines with a moment of magic! 1-1 at Stamford Bridge! It looks as though we're going to penalties! 3 all, four penalties taken each. We are at sudden death now. Ashley Cole to hit. Ashley Cole to sky it! Right over the top. Everton have the chance to go through. Phil Neville, Everton's captain, Everton's Mr. Reliable. Neville scores, and Everton go through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. Drama all the way at Stamford Bridge. But it's Everton who prevail, and look at the satisfied expression on the manager's face. Just the three fifth-round ties this Saturday. Comfortable passage for Birmingham against League One struggler Sheffield Wednesday. Crawley's brave resistance was broken by Manchester United, who won through with an unconvincing 1-0 victory. And Stoke City also threw 3-0 against League One leaders Brighton. In the fourth-round replay, Everton prevailed on penalties 4-3, ending Chelsea's excellent FA Cup run, their first defeat since March 2008. So Chelsea have relinquished their hold on the FA Cup, while some of their Premier League peers have flexed their muscles. But despite United's win, Crawley deserved the plaudits. More fantastic cup action to follow, but bye for now. This program is brought to you by Sporting Bear.